Hey, YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. If a few years ago you said and you told me that I would have a survival business to sell survival products, I would have laughed at you. Uh, I'm definitely not a businessman in that sense. Um, but I met JD, became friends with JD, and, and JD is definitely a businessman. He knows how to make things happen in the business world, get products, uh, and he is definitely the expert on that. So teaming up to, with JD uh, definitely was a great combination. I'm on the side of the prepping and survival side. I understand it. I know it. I live it. Uh, he's the businessman. So combining was very easy for us to start a business. So yeah, I want to showcase some products for you, but I also want a couple things. I want you to know that if you're stuck in a rut and you're trying to get out of that rut, you might have to think outside the box. It might be do something uh, and do something you enjoy expand into something that you can make money into i enjoy prepping and survival so this is a great fit for me it's not work when i test products and i test a lot of products out also if you know of a product that hey that needs to be built better or, or uh, sold maybe you, you found a product you like but it's so expensive let us know uh, we might be able to get it manufactured a lot cheaper our products are sold lower than our competitors and we do this for one reason uh, first of all, I never want to say something, somebody says, oh, you're too expensive. Or I don't want someone to say, hey, that's junk. Uh, I, I take it personal. I really do. Because uh, I don't want to have a, a customer buy something and not like the product. Um, so let me show you a few things we sell. You might be a new subscriber or new viewer and like, I didn't even know you did that. Yes, yeah, so we are capitalists. Uh, it is awesome to control your destiny. And we're controlling our destiny. Uh, by trying to build something. I want to build something for my children uh, so they can inherit it. Uh, my ultimate goal is to build something. I'd love to have a physical shop and sell out of there and then also s send all the products out of there. Right now we can't afford that because uh, we are just a two-man show. We don't have uh, you know, a, lots of money following us around. So we, we get products, we sell products, and then we can buy more products. Um, so for us, we got to use Amazon. People say, ah, why use Amazon? We wouldn't be in business without it. They store our products. They, they ship our products. They build the, for the products. For right now, we have to do it, but it's given us the ability to try to get bigger and bigger. So let me show you a few products uh, that we sell and, and the reason why we pick these products. A flashlight, self-explanatory. Every prepper should have many flashlights. Uh, this is a rechargeable flashlight. It comes two to a box. Um, and it's also a plasma uh, lighter. So basically you just flip it over. I think I can do this one handed. And probably can't see it because it's too bright. You might be able to hear it. Do not touch that. Please do not touch that. You will have the nastiest burn. It instantaneously will start a fire. Um, so no batteries, rechargeable. Next, a radio self-explanatory every prepper should have a radio now if you have a radio don't buy my radio if you've got everything covered you're good a, a lot of people ask me dave how can i support your channel how can i donate i don't need a donation if you want to donate uh, or help the channel just view the videos comment on the videos if you can buy the products if not and you want to make a donation donate to your local food bank or a local church that is doing good things to help people physically so AMFM radio has weather, it, it can be cranked, so it is definitely something that uh, can be used for grid down if you don't have power. AMFM, weather, and shortwave. Our competitors sell them for 67 bucks. Uh, they're a huge company, gigantic. It's the same radio we sell for $49.99. Um, we'll make less on each sale, but more people can buy a radio. Wool blanket. This is a lighter weight blanket. You can get the heavier three pound ones but they're bulky we wanted a lightweight one where you could leave it in your car uh, for an emergency or be able to carry it easily it comes in a bag mylar mylar is very important uh, it definitely will keep you warm now there's no substitute for this blanket here but if in your car or space is limited uh, a mylar will definitely keep you alive in a very cold environment We've put a lot in here. I tested and tested and tested this stuff to figure out what we needed. We put a tent in there. This is an A-frame tent. Also, we put an emergency blanket, very important, especially if you have a serious trauma injury. Uh, sometimes people go into shock. We put a plastic poncho in. 
most companies do not include a, a regular plastic poncho they do include a mylar poncho but the problem was you test this i tested it in summer and i put this on and 30 seconds later i had to take it off i was sweating uh, so in july it's you can't use emergency mylar poncho or you'll die but in january when it's cold it definitely works so that's why we include the regular plastic one sleeping bag this is an emergency sleeping bag uh, definitely will keep you warm in an environment so we packed all that in there next water straws my favorite we spent a lot of time and effort on this uh, this is an emergency water straw pull off the end put it in your dirty water you can also use water bottles and attach it directly and then suck the water out of that we put five in a box that's 40 bucks it's eight dollars a straw we made sure each one was individually wrapped so if you bought a pack or bought five you could give them away or you could store them and they're better for long-term storage so we also have a two pack of these these are just basic supplies uh it was so fun testing products i thoroughly enjoy it i have the best job in the world um, and then we source them and we try to give them to you at the lowest price but if i can do this yes i have the help of jd because uh, i'm not a computer man if you've got some computer skills look at what kind of skills you can turn into a small small business and then grow your business if you're stuck in a rut and you say man i can't pay my bills think outside the box uh, find something you enjoy doing especially if it's prepper relating or someone's going to need that in a grid down event or even just a very bad recession or depression you know so if you make something foofy for the house that's a decoration yeah people might buy it but when times get tough are they going to buy that also we've written two books me and jd uh, nuclear war survival i pray you never have to use this book but this book will help you in case things go sideways in this world and then united we stand building your emergency preparedness network trying to find like-minded people trying to build a team so if i can do this you can do it trust me so i appreciate all the support i've gotten over the many years of doing youtube um, what products are out there that you would like tweaked? Maybe you think they need to be changed. Maybe you just think they need to be more affordable for the average prepper. Uh, please contact me. Put it in the comment section. I uh, would love uh, to test other products out. Thanks for watching.